Hello and welcome to this important update for TVET lecturers. I'm Gan Krishna from Macmillan and I would like to tell you about the new TVET First Building and Structural Construction N4 Students Book and Lecturer's Guide. These books are approved by the DHET for implementation in 2022. Colleges must ensure that they have the latest textbooks to teach the correct curriculum and prepare students for the exam. Look out for the revised curriculum 2022 logo on the books. Let's begin with an overview of the updated building and structural construction N4 curriculum. The new syllabus has been broken down into modules with weightings per module as shown in this table. The order in which the modules are taught has changed slightly. Although there are no new sections in the curriculum, the learning outcomes now provide more detailed specifications than before. Content that has been regularly examined but was not in the previous curriculum is now clearly described. Examples of where the curriculum has added specific information include concrete tanks for dam proofing in Module 2, the Flemish bond in Module 3, the flat gate arch, brick on edge or soldier brick in Module 4. Types of roofing and drawing the vertical section through the pitch and valley of steel roof trusses in Module 6. Long span aluminium roofing sheet and step tiles in Module 7. And applying sealant for waterproofing and torch on systems also in Module 7. Building materials which are no longer used in construction, such as asbestos, have been removed from the curriculum. It is now explicitly stated where students should draw labeled construction diagrams, such as the section drawings in Module 2, showing the damp-proof course and thermal insulation and ventilation. Examples of step-by-step -step instructions can be found in Module 4 on arches, where students are guided through each step of drawing an arch. Another diagram example is drawing different roofing types in Module 6. TVET First includes excellent guidelines for drawing in a series of worked examples on each type. In fact, there are more than 400 illustrations in this book to assist students with all their drawing tasks. The illustrations are also a critical tool to help students advance their theoretical understanding of the content. Let's take a look at the features of TVET First Building and Structural Construction N4 that will help students to succeed. The student's book has worked examples to guide students through the methods they need to know. There are varied activities for each section, ensuring that students have lots of practice in all the methods they need to master. The authors have selected photographs and diagrams to show students the materials and structures as they appear in reality and show the correct representation in the industry. Throughout the student's book, exam tips provide guidelines and hints and point out common problems and how to avoid them. These exam tips help students approach the exams with confidence. There is plenty of language support and all new terms are clearly explained. Each module ends with a summary. Students can review all the summaries when revising for exams to remind themselves of all the key information and skills. Each module also offers summative activities with exam type questions to help students to prepare for exams. A comprehensive lecturer's guide accompanies the student's book. The lecturer's guide provides rich resources and support to reduce preparation and marking time for lecturers. The lecturer's guide includes a 10-week suggested teaching plan and a photocopyable lesson plan template. It has comprehensive answers to all the students' book activities and clear, detailed diagrams with labels where needed. The lecturer's guide maps the learning outcomes clearly to the students' book content and activities, so the lecturer can easily see exactly how and where all elements of the curriculum are fully covered. 
Choose the best support available for this curriculum implementation. Choose TVET first.